Hello, 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 everybody. Zuki here. I'm just spending a couple of chalices before the event starts. I hope you're having a wonderful Friday. How are you, Nicole? So yeah, I'm just spending a couple of chalices here in Dreadmarsh 3 before I get started. I've already got one purple star today out of this. My day's been going all right, thank you. All right, let's get these harvested or these merged on up. Maybe see if I get another purple star. No such luck as of yet. But I've gotten one at least, which is always a help. Hello, Paula, how you doing? Just seeing how grabby this is going to be, too, today. And it seems like it's going to be fairly smooth, hopefully. There's a purple star. Excellent. Oops, I collected that gem. Oh, no. What happened, Nicole? Hey, Sage, how's it going? So there's a second star today. I'm going to make my first cloud save. Take my current game, upload it. Hello, Sarah Nell. Oh no! I've had that happen to me before, Nicole. I looked at it as a chance to get more dragons from the challenge levels. But yes, that definitely sucks. I'm glad your camp and your dragon power were fine. That was the case with me as well. My camp and the dragon power were fine. I just had to go through those levels again. In fact, I'm still going through some of those levels. Where I just burst through them and I didn't worry about getting all three stars on some of them. I've got to go through and get the rest of the secret levels. Alright, so I've made my cloud save and disconnecting. Now to head into the event. Open up my bag of snacks. Wow. My bag of snacks today is Starburst Jelly Beans. Yes, I still have some Easter candy that I got after Easter. Because I love Starburst, but if I get the Jelly Beans, I'm better off. <laughs> Anyways, alright, so let's check this out. I love this map because it's got this nice flat area. Alright, so there's an egg there, an egg there, and an egg down here. Take a look around the map. It's two by ones for the 
these dragon shaped ones for the harvesters for the 75 harvests. All right, so let's start the timer. Stopwatch is now going. And not going to get a fastest dragon for, well, I could try, but it's not going to do it. All right, so there we go. And we'll harvest him. Harvest that again. We'll do that there. Merge those there. I'll bring this little heel down here and get that flower uncovered. Merge those on up. Uncover that second key. Bring the flower down here. Merge those grass down in there. These grass here. And bring you down, you over, and you over. And there we go with those. Bring that flower over. Five merge there. I'm just going to clear up some land around in here. Hello, Dunrobin. How are you today? All right. So we'll bring these over. Five merge these. Merge there. Bring that over. Keep on harvesting. There's the first star quest done. I'm going to tap that star on out. That up there. I'm going to merge these sprouts. Whoa, we don't want that. We'll get the free capsule. Thank you. And bring that up. Bring these point items down. Those point items over, five merge there. Bring those guys up. Bring these down and five merge those flowers. I'm gonna ignore that dimensional jar. There's our first combo and we'll bring him up here. I'm doing all right. Thank you. Hi, Reese. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, to leave you out. How are you doing today? I'm just really focused in already, sadly. I'm trying to catch everybody. All right. So let's get these going on. <laughs> I'm glad you're all right. All right. So there we go. And we'll merge those, get a couple more of these purple ones up here. Hello, Ezra. Ezra Ace. Ezra's Ace. All right. Awesome. Thank you for clarifying that for me. I have been stumbling on that every time, so I appreciate you clearing that up for me. All right. So we're going to move that dimensional jar out of the way and bring this over for a four merge there and then a three merge there. Ezra's Ace. Okay, I will do my best to remember how to say that right. Bring these on over. Make that a three merge. And then a combo there. Gonna bring that combo orb up here. Come on. There we go. Open that up and bring these two down. And this one over. Work our way across this bottom area a little bit. We'll set up a five merge with 
those. And we'll bring those over. And we've got another grass for a four merge there. That sprout up and that sprout over. And we'll five merge those. Bring these on over. Hmm. Let's get those prism flowers. One. You can do this with just one. I'm going to buy five. So that I can have two for each of my dragons. And I'm also going to merge these up after I've tapped them out. That's a fourth one there. And that's my fifth. As you might have seen before I got started today, I was farming for some stars and got a couple of them. Alright, so we're going to bring that up. Get him harvesting for the moment on that. I'm going to tap all these out. And we're going to merge those. Tap all that heal out. Get rid of that dimensional jar there. Yeah, everything should work out. I had to switch phones. Did the cloud save and was freaked out the whole time. Hoping I didn't need to start over again. I game I just gave up after a couple of times. Well, I'm glad everything worked out for you. this one over here yeah I think I'm going to end up having to restart on merge magic if I decide to continue on with that one myself oh And bring these up here and make that three merge combo there bring that combo orb up here I'm actually gonna slide these flowers way up okay so I need to heal out some of this because I need to get my dragon eggs I need to get up in here Eh. let's go ahead and launch that these are 50 heals up in here all right i'll merge that bring the sprout down bring that grass up bring that sprout down We're going to do a little bit of healing down here so I have stuff I can take up top. That's not quite. There we go. All right, we're going to bring that grass up there. That point item and that point item. Bring that down. Okay, and we've got a couple of grasses here to bring over. And they've got a ruby grass to bring over this way. Bring those down. Take a little bit of heal over here to get another emerald grass. There we go. 
and that sprout and that sprout down. And we'll bring that up there. Another sprout down. Do a three merge there. Make that combo. Use that to. Well, we got a little bit on that. Ooh, a chest already. I'll take that. And another blue flower that makes two glowing flowers already. Excellent. Collect coins. Let's see. That point item up and that one up. Down. Bring a couple of these ruby grass up. Merge there. And let's see that. These flower sprouts can come down. Push those up. Let's see. Bring these couple of ruby grass over here. Bring that sprout out. We'll bring that down. We'll grab one of these off of here. So I can make this merge down at the bottom right with those. Make a combo. And bring that heel up here. It's a little bit more there. Bring that orb up. And we'll do a four merge there. Bring that sprout over. Bring that grass down here for a five merge. Merge that there. Merge those sprouts. Making some steady progress up into this space here. Bring that flower over. There's another one of those. Let's see, there's one more of those there. And another there. But we've got a natural one there, so we don't have to rush. Bring these fruit these leaves over. That's only a four heel there. All right. And we'll merge those leaves and get a couple more of the saplings. Hello, Mighty Gamer. How you doing? Good luck with the event, everyone. And then we'll bring those over. We're going to bring that sapling all the way up there. Thinking about it, there's my pen and there's my notebook. All right. So I'll be able to keep track of my um, gnome homes when I make them. Bring these up here. I want a combo orb. 
go. Use that combo over there. And for good measure, we're just going to pop that, get that third egg. There's my second dragon. Brush those, bring that over. And we're getting underway. There's a couple of sprouting trees. I'll launch that and get that healed out. So I can merge those trees up there and that can start giving me hopefully some sprouts. Merge those over there. Bring that sprout down. Bring these saplings up. A blue flower, nice, very nice. And let's see, that ruby grass can go over there. Bridge those flowers. Bring those flowers up. And we'll bring that over there. And we'll keep on merging and harvesting. There's two more of those sprouting trees. All right. So well underway now. Hopefully I'll get some more good chests out of these those a couple more saplings bring these orbs over and launch this one down here bring that orb over let's get up there that flower down on the corner now. All right, let's see what have I got going on up there. Nothing too special. I do want to get this opened up. All right, and there's a couple more saplings. We're arranging for combos. I'm going to start launching the combo orbs over in here where it's small heels. There's another sap, so we got a five merge there. That's our first two of the young trees. Bring those up. I'm not even going to hold on to that glowing tree. Combo there. 
that combo orb over here. And let's see. Let's see, where do I want to launch this over in here? Hmm. How about there? Didn't do much, but we'll get more of them. Bring those up. All right, let's see. There's the dimensional jars going away without having to fuss with them. All right. The event camp might be small. This event map is small, but your points get really high really fast in that case for how much it takes for the heals. It's always going to take the same amount of heal overall to heal the map. It's just the distribution for the bigger heals. So it always takes at least five heavens and two souls. If you want to play it safe, it's six heavens. And depending on what perimeter merges you get in there, you might be able to cut that down a little bit. But I usually plan for five heavens, two souls as my baseline. And we get right into the 5,000s pretty quick over here. The lower points are up here at the top area. So this is where you would want to launch for your harvesting for dead stuff. And even then, you start getting to the, to the 5,000s already right up in here. So keep that in mind when you're planning where you're going to launch your orbs for going for the dead harvests. For the brambles and the like. The low stuff seems to be over in this section here. There's two more of those young trees. Yeah, that's a nice one to get from the season. I haven't forgotten that you asked about those for a video, by the way.
And we'll merge those. And there's a turtle point item. We're going to bring way up. those and we've got a ruby grass coming up in there but how many points is that not a lot well, starts getting into the 50s over here so That's a 500 all the way up there. All right. Well, I'll bring those down here. Hello, Beans. How you doing? Good luck with the event. those get a combo there get some tap heel off of that pop that down here Oof. All right, let's go. Oh, I hope it's nothing too bad with your eye. I farm a lot of stuff and I do sometimes use reroll. And you gotta remember, I've been playing for years now. Judicious use of my season eggs when I have season eggs as well doesn't hurt. I have made a lot of Ruins of the Sky Palace in my camp. When I first started out, I was churning those things out daily, multiple times a day. I've still got a um, glowing flower um, farm. Definitely a farm. Ooh, another chest. Oh, here's hoping. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Woo. Drink going down the wrong tube. It's important to stay hydrated, but not choke on it.
Sometime I've got to catch you in chat, by the way, Sage. I can possibly answer certain questions a little bit better. There's another chest. Those are small heels. Those are bigger over there. Bring that up, make a combo there. Um, I doubt that they've got the same names. My turtle is Erebus, and my rock is Alm. So yeah, different names. Okay, right, we're gonna bring these up here. Let's see what's in these boxes. Coins and a flower. Merge those up. And pop that up. Ooh, there's a wish in there. And that's an orb. And some more flowers. Which will bring those over here. Alpha, yeah. All right, awesome. I will try to catch you after the stream then. And after you're done with work. All right, so there we go. Keep the music going on my end. And there we go. Keep on harvesting. There's a couple more of the young trees. Get down there. All right, there we go. Oh, three merge there, get a combo. That combo over, that's a 10 over there. Oh, yes, we will head over that way. And we'll five merge these guys up here. Move those great orbs way up. And that wondrous one can come up here. So if I were only going for vermilion trees, I'd be there already. I'm going for 
Hmm. Yeah, I'm going for nice ones. It's tempting to just go for the vermilions this time, but I'll go all the way to the nice ones because they'll harvest faster in the long run. And it'll give me more of these purple orbs. In the meanwhile. That chest open. Ooh, a couple of blue flowers and another one. Wow, they're chucking blue flowers at me left and right now. I'll take it. That's the good stuff. And another chest. Okay. Thank you. Well, that was just coins, but I'm okay with that. And we'll merge those on up. Bring these over. Bring these purple orbs over and these over five merge those get a combo there we go we'll launch that up there saplings merge those that's a couple more of the sproutings that's a couple more young trees all right I'm working on the in camp star class oh my goodness I jump started mine severely with um with using gems and with certain types of reroll on my um portal stuff. The portals helped significantly for that. But at one point in time, I was spending lots and lots of gems that I had farmed on life flower, well, life tree from challenge 30 as a level and bringing that home. I was really, really farming gems a lot. That beanstalk is nice. One of the things that really gets me is how much of a help the um, second level of the secret fountains is. Nice. Very nice haul there you've got going on. 
Although that's not enough to get the tree from um, challenge 30 as a level. But that is a very nice amount of gems. I made a lot of use of those secret fountains, so I'll tell you what, I had them out, and every time that they had a flower on them for the longest time, I'd tap on it and get that flower out. They add it up. Ooh, ouch. Yep. They'll eat up your chalices, that's for sure. Some of those levels will just chew right through of them, and that'll eat your gems, too. You cannot buy them. They're just a chance off of the merge of the fountains. However, you can save scrum it. So, like, with that, when you're going to do the merge, have your cloud save done. Have your um, connection for the cloud disconnected. Do your merge, and if you're doing the five merge and you don't get two of the um, fountains, then roll it back. Or if you don't get one, if you'd rather, you know, only go for the one to save yourself a little time, yeah. And just keep fishing. Nice. But yeah, you can use that to try to get it. Of course, there's always the risks that are involved with those, but yeah. I always remind people there is a risk involved when you're playing around with cloud save for things. Lest we forget. Mm-hmm. Understandable. If you're not comfortable, don't do it. That's a good plan. That's the best value if you're going to buy gems. All right. Oh, my cat's making some noises. I'm going to mute my mic. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. I have to check on a sparrow later. My cat has decided that I'm not hunting enough for her liking, so she brought me a bird. <laughs> and it was still alive. And yes, I told her she was a good girl and she did a good job, but... Yes, poor little birdie indeed. So, it's sitting out in one of my empty um, flower hanging flower baskets. And I'll check on it later to see if it's all right or if it's just stunned, you know, give it a chance to recover from its ordeal. Aww. Now, yeah, my cat pretty much just stuns them and brings them in. And if I don't immediately go, she's likely to actually hurt it. Now, she's only got it stunned, hopefully. Hopefully she didn't hurt it. It didn't seem like it was hurt. It didn't look like it was bleeding or anything, so... And it wasn't wobbly necked or anything, so I'm hopeful that she just stunned it and it would have come back to life here in the house, but I got it outside before that could happen. I didn't need it flapping around in here, getting itself even more hurt and terrified, you know? Which has happened plenty of times. Heck, she's not even able to go outside, so she must have found it here in the house. Probably up in the, um, attic. Or the upstairs. And there's my first two glowing flowers. Hey, a chest. Nice. And another glowing flower. I'll take it. There's a blue flower. I'll bring that over. Bring that sprout down and merge those up. It's a couple more pink flowers while I'm at it. Oh my goodness, that had to have been a sight to behold. I mean, one time we had a bunny that we had for a pet that was in the house, and that would chase the Cocker Spaniel. The Cocker Spaniel was absolutely terrified of the rabbit. Um, it's not your wedding rehearsal dinner, is it? Eh, 
네. I mean, it probably technically is, but... Maybe a better way to gauge it is, how long do you think the marriage is going to last? Oh, that was horrible. That was horrible of me, wasn't it? Absolutely not. I mean, I should feel bad. It crossed my mind, so it crossed my lips. But, you know, that's just me. <laughs> yep. You know... Uh, I kind of tend to agree with that. My brother's first marriage, for example, was very expensive, and that didn't last a year. But, you know, that was also a case of, maybe you should have listened to your mom and your sisters about this one. Now, his second marriage was basically held on the lawn and on part of the neighbor's lawn the neighbor gave permission for that that was and it was just a big tent and it was a potluck okay so it might last yeah that that's kind of how my brother's second one was and that one's been pretty solid so Oh, nice. I think I'm just about there on these. Now I need to do do to do. Oh, wow. Um, I might have got a little overzealous here. There's two of those. Lost track of what I was doing. And there's those. Okay. Just about there. Those two over. Yeah, I'm almost there. Coming up on it. One more of these. Hello, Ninja. How's it going? Happy Friday and good luck with the event. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, that sounds like one that's going to last. Just tell them not to eat the top of the cake before the first year anniversary. We forgot to tell my brother about that uh, superstition before his first marriage. And he ate the top of the cake before the week was out. <laughs> and then after the divorce, we mentioned that. And he's like, I wish somebody had told me I would have eaten it sooner. 
<laughs> I'm like, but how would you have known? Because I was already having regrets. Like, well, at least you didn't get her name tattooed anywhere. That's it. That's it. I'm done with making trees. And we'll merge those and merge those. There's my two nice trees. All right. Let's get these guys down here. Get down here. All right. We're done with the prism flowers. I get started on my logs. Log, log, log. that over a little bit I do need to get some of this cleared out let's tap that mmm tap it again I'll bring that down there Just gonna launch that. Okay. See these two back down here. Push those up. Point items over and merge those up. Back down here. Alright. Those. Those. Those two flowers down. Keep harvesting logs. Let's see. Hmm. 
Nice, Sage. Well done. Those up there, those there. All right, let's see. These are little points down here still for the heels, and these are 50s up in here. So we're going to bring some more grass up here. those guys there and those are 50s so you guys get that treatment Hey, a ruby fire egg. Excellent. The I think by the time I get up there, I'm not even going to worry about these grass. There's some grass over here. Let's make that a five merge. Merge those. Grab that coin. All right. Yeah, that's not going to be a big deal once we get up in there, so. Grab that out. As loose as I am to use it, I'm going to use that down here. Take care of some of those troublesome bits. That up. That up. That's a 50. So we'll bring that down. Three merge there. Three merge there. That flower over. those grass there those grass there Here's those guys up Five merge these. That'll give me that twin flowers. Bring that out. These point items can come all off to the side. Ooh. Hmm. 
that one's partially healed already, so we're going to merge these ones. Get that bushy tree there. Bring you back over here. No, get off those. Come on down here. Merge those up. There's two more blue ones for two more glowings. And we'll move that over. And stick that over there. These orbs are coming way up. And so are these point items. Let's get all of that business out of the way. Bring that leaf over and that leaf over. Kind of clearing out this metal section now. These level one of the harvesters can come up there. Level five merge these glowing flowers. That's two more wins for when I get to those. That shell jar can come out of the way. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to be active so I can go ahead and merge those. And take that out of my way. Excuse me, you're supposed to be on tree duty. Hello, how you doing today? Like, yeah. And good luck with the event. All right, let's see. I'm going to move that point item up in there as well, out of the way. Just fill in spaces over here. And merge these logs up. And mass merge these ones. Woo! Hello! There we go. That's a 10 merge. That's four. And a five merge. That makes six out of the 26. Let's tap these out. and move these over. Tap those out. And make a note that that's six so far. bring that tree back out so it can sprout a little bit for me. Get rid of the mushroom. Get rid of that mushroom cap that I accidentally tapped. Alright, and that's another five merge there with the bushes. And there we go with those. Bring those level two bushes down together for a five merge there. Another ruby fire egg. Beautiful. Bring these level three bushes. 
around here. Um, if I'm doing prism flower method, I prefer the twin flowers. That way I know I have my flowers all the same level. It's the faster of the two for harvesting from the ones that produce their size orb. And it's easier for me to have enough flowers to go around. Now, if I've got less than five dragons, I might go up. Right? If I've got less than five dragons, I might go up to the brilliant flowers. It'd be a stretch for me to go to the giant flowers. If I'm only working with two dragons, I prefer the level seven or even going up to the level nine. You do not want the level eights because those, if you're doing passive or anything, could produce flowers. The, um, if I'm doing passive play, the giant flowers are excellent. And if I were doing passive play, I'd be only doing two dragons. So I wouldn't be doing prism flower. So there's your trade-off, really. And if you do Prism Flower, you have to play active because only two dragons will do anything without direction. So there's no point in having the extra dragons if you don't have them doing stuff. Wait a minute, did I just... Yes, I made two more of those, didn't I? Puts me at eight... Hello, pen. Work, please. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's... That's how I go about it. If I don't think I'll be able to get to that next flower up, I won't make the one before it. And the faster ones to harvest out of each pairing is the second one of the type. Ooh, I'll take that flower, thank you. Bring these level four shrubs up. Okay. That's another benefit of my um, version of Prism Flower that I do, where I buy the five and merge them, is that I get the um, faster of the two Prism Flowers from their tier as well. As well as the fact that you get the chain chests from them. Rather than getting the smaller chests. Bring that up there. Bring these down and bring this on over. 
those all up. Let's see, that's eight of them. Hey, a third egg. Nice. Thank you, Om. Merge those. And get rid of that mushroom. Well, yeah, I can understand that. A lot of times the um, gems I use are just from where I've farmed some dragon stars from levels. I don't spend a lot of gems these days. And thankfully, I usually am going with free gems now. Although I have been splurging a little bit and getting seasons now and again. But yeah, I can definitely understand that. Not being able to make a spend on the game. All right, let's get back on the trees, boys. Get that out of the way. Oh, they brought me a coin. Another egg. And another egg. That's five eggs already. All right, so there's two, and there's four more. That puts me at 12 out of 26 that I'm aiming for. Since I like to make two of the wonders. I've merged those. Bring those up if I have merged that. I've merged those. Bring those twos over. Merge those on up and we'll bring those fours up. that little mushroom over there Let's see that makes that nine 
get rid of that mushroom. I'll make that a 10. Gives me two more. So that makes it 14. Just clean up these little mushrooms as I'm going along. All right, so making good progress here. Five merge those, five merge the threes, five merge these fours. That's my first two fives. Get rid of that mushroom. Hey, Zena, how you doing? Good luck. Good luck, Zena. Things are all right here. Thank you for asking. I am looking forward to next week. There's going to be some new Final Fantasy content, so I'm definitely going to be streaming that, most likely. I'm at least going to be streaming um, the older content on Final Fantasy. Well, I say older, it's the current expansion. You might have seen I've had a couple of streams up for that lately. And <sighs> there's no way I'm going to get the um, character I'm doing that on right now all the way through the current stuff before the new stuff comes. But I'm excited there's new content coming. So I'm going to have a busy next week. With that stuff. Ooh, a natural three stack of wood. Nice. My goal today is to do this within six hours, but I want to see if I can get it under five.
Thank you. I, I'll need a little bit of luck. So I appreciate the well wishes there. All right. So there's two and four more. That puts me at 18 out of 26. Let's bring these over. And give them the tap taps. There's another egg. Nice. I hope these eggs will give me something good today. And there's another egg. All right. You too. Thank you. All right. Yes, good luck with the event. I hope Prism Flower treats you well. Ooh, they brought me a nice big orb that time. I will definitely enjoy that one. Let's see here. Here's a five merge there. Get rid of that mushroom. A five merge there and a five merge there. Here, merge there, merge everywhere. Merge, merge. Merge, 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 merge. Burger, burger. All right, now I'm getting a little goofy, aren't I? All right, a five merge those threes and bring those fours on up. And we'll five merge those. Yeah, you'll probably need one more cabin if you do an accidental three merge. I usually go to more than the 26 that's the minimum anyway, because then I don't have to wait for them to spit them out. I can just tap them out and it's faster to harvest the logs than it is to wait for them to kick out their bushes. Hey, that's cool. At least you got the mystery eggs. Now remember, you can re-roll them. If you cloud save before you merge your bushes and make sure you're disconnected from the cloud, then you come back in, you do your merge, and if you don't get a nest, you go back out, you retrieve your cloud save, disconnect again, come back in here, and remerge those bushes and you can keep doing that until you get an ass if you want to yeah you may need to make a few extra if you do accidental merges too much it happens Just try not to get flustered and, you know, don't, don't push yourself. Don't rush. I only race with myself when I'm speed running. That's the only time that I'm ever trying to be. I'm not racing against anybody else. I'm just trying to beat my own best time or come in within a range that I find to be within my best times. All right, there's two and there's four. Four more. Get these guys back on their trees. All right, so that makes it 22 that I'm at. That's a five merge. Bring another one over for a five merge there. And 
That's a five merge there. We'll five merge those twos. Five merge those twos. Back on your tree, buddy. Get rid of that mushroom. Get him on his tree. And we'll five merge those. All right. So, yeah. Get rid of that mushroom. Merge those sprouts up. That up there. Get rid of that mushroom and that mushroom. Hey, another egg. Sweet. Hey, no worries. If you're not comfortable doing it, you're not comfortable doing it. Another egg. Oh, um, when I'm doing this, what I take and do is I'll actually get some extras of the cabins because you see how long it takes for these to spawn out to kick out the rest of their bushes. I'll make extras because the first ones, when you first make them, you can tap three bushes out, right? So sometimes it's faster to just make more and more bush, more and more of the cabins rather than wait for them to go all the way over to spitting out all their bushes. And then I'll delete them. It just means that I'll get there faster. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's a that's four of those. And there's two more. That puts me at 24 of 26. I'm just careful, and sometimes I do end up tapping those event items. I just have to be careful. It does help a little bit that I'm on PC, and I have a very big screen. Yeah. I, I will lose count sometimes too. I keep pen and paper handy and I jot down how many I'm making as I go along now, which helps. It helps me at least. So I'll keep track of how many cabins I've built. Hey, another egg. I am getting quite the count on eggs today. 
That's a five merge of the fours again. So I've got four of the fives now. Now the really funny thing is most of the time when I go to the trouble of making a cloud save so I can reroll if I don't get a um, nest, those are the times I end up getting nests. Hello, Ring. How you doing? Nice to see ya. Awesome, Sage. Congrats. You're flying through. That was a combo and a half. All right, so that makes two more and another egg. Tap those out. That's my 26th on the cabins. I have a very difficult time now with events if I play them on um, on a phone or on a tablet even. I can't do it anymore. There's a five merge of those threes. But yeah, I definitely prefer playing on an emulator when I'm doing anything that I need to be careful with. If I need finesse, I want my larger screen. And it also means I can stream and everything. Yeah, I'm definitely getting lucky today. Some weeks I don't get anywhere near that luck. Watch them all give me um eggs for dragons that are not any faster. That'd be a right kick in the butt. All right, so let's make that 27th cabin. Five merge there. Five merge those. I've merged those. Get rid of that mushroom. I'll make it. 28th cabin. That'll make sure everything is sorted now. Alright, and we'll merge those, merge those, merge those. There is my fifth of those. I'll get rid of these cabins. Get rid of these extra bushes. Get rid of those mushrooms up there. Now we're going to go out to the world map. I'm going to make my cloud save. Keep my current game and upload it.
takes its time. Slow, slow, slow on this upload. Come on, cloud save. Do 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 Close that. Oh, I got the red exclamation, so I open up the game settings and hit the check mark, which will initiate it again. There we go. Cloud save has been made. Disconnect. And back into the event. All right, let's make that wonder, those wonders, there we go. There's two wonders. Let's bring them down here and get rid of these trees now and that log. Uh, no nest. No nest. All right, back to the world map. Did not want that. Connect. Retrieve my cloud save. And disconnect again. Back to the event. Now you do this before you merge these, though, because that's when it determines. So there we go. Just be careful about setting it, because you can end up losing your progress. Let's see. No nest there. I got a nest. There we go. Worth that couple of minutes of investment for doing the cloud save, eh? And let's uncover that cloud key there. And since I know I'm not going to get another use out of these, let's get rid of them. All right, so we've got a defender. That's still better than Rock Boy. Goodbye, Rock Dragon. Thank you for your time. We've got a, a trophy dragon. All right, so there's that. Couple of defenders. Ugh, come on, give me something good. Another defender. And another trophy. Well, you guys are getting merged. Merge those. All right. Merge those. Harvester. Zoomer can go away. You're no good. Oh, that defender is going to be slow, but we'll see what happens. If it's feeling too slow, they'll get gone as well. I'll save these over here because I'll need them eventually. You are coming over on the edge. You guys can stop harvesting those. These are coming in here. And we're going to bring these 
windflowers down here. We've got four of them. All right. Hmm. All right. I'm sorry, Mr. Sharpwell, but you are a defender and you are slow. Almost as slow as this gargoyle. Boy. I'm getting rid of the gargoyle. He can go. It still leaves me with one, two, three, four, five, six dragons. So lock my screen. Spread these out just a bit more. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Good. All right. All right, that feels all right. And now to the harvesting. Uh, yeah, if you use that cloud safe trick there, be careful. You could lose all of your event progress. So just be very careful. And don't say you haven't been warned about the potential for losing your progress. I've had it happen. I wouldn't so much as call, call it a hack, it's call it a trick. It's just using what tools you've got. Oh, I feel you there. I do a lot of bubbling to keep my camp under control. Which, you know, isn't always the best thing to do, but it's about the only thing that we can do. And I only keep out the things, the chain that I'm working on, or the two chains that I'm working on. And since all my land is healed, I keep out some life flowers. That way I can fill the camp up with orbs, which is an easy cleanup. All right, so we've completed that quest. I'll make sure that's ticked off so that... If they start harvesting dead things, woo, I've got it full too. All right, let's get these little orbs of essences out. Merge all this down here. Putting my combo orbs down. Send everybody back to work. That's cool. Yeah, as long as it's dead land there, they will harvest automatically off of your life flowers. But once you have no dead land, they won't harvest off of life flowers. So if all you have out is life flowers that they could harvest, they'll ignore them completely and just float around. All 
they will do absolutely nothing without direction in that case. As long as there's nothing else for them to go off harvesting. Keeps them out of trouble. That's a good one for them to be harvesting off of. That is a nice wonder. Nice way to get some dragon power, too. For a while there, my camp was nothing but around the clock um, honey farm. Yeah, yeah, you kind of got to do that at some point. When I was farming the wonders, I would make them, tap them, and then delete them after I had a pair of them bubbled. And just keep the um, ones before the wonder. A bunch of those spread out and was harvesting off of those. Because it was more bang for the buck for amounts that I could harvest. Not that one. This little blue flower gets moved. All right, there we go. All right. grind at the moment for orbs and since I know I'm gonna need to make five of the heavens I'm gonna go ahead I think and make heavens early before I've done my dead stuff since this is such a comfortable field right now whoops Bring up 
five merge up. Oh, that's five merge there. Bring these down. Make that a five merge there. Shove that dimensional jar up there. That's a five merge there. And these great orbs can come up here. Send everybody back to work. Ooh. Pardon me. I gotta remember I've got a couple of great orbs up at the top as well. The honeybee wonder, the honey. Um, if you buy the honey bundle in the shop, you can get the start for that and you just harvest off of it. It's a self-perpetuating wonder pretty much. The honey harvest for more honey. It's a small gem investment. There was an event, a couple of events where we got uh, pieces for the honey to get it started, but haven't seen it since then as an event reward. That was when it was first introduced. And you can get the honeybee eggs that originally were only available through the um, missions. You can get them from there. Yeah, it might have been. You did take a few months off, didn't you? It was not this previous Sugar Pines, but the one before that. Whoops. Getting a little tunnel vision. Let's merge these all down here. Bring those combo orbs down. Send these guys back to work again. To make one wonder, it's 16, I think. I usually make two wonders, which is 26 for the bare minimum. And it's not quite half. So, yeah, you're going to need like 16 to make one wonder. Good guess, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 16. Um, 
Let's see. Let's check merge lang. Let's see. Bushes. Let's see, I'll need 250. Oh, like exact. All right, so you need 125 of the um of the level 1 bush and calculator 25 Divided by six. Ooh. This says you'd need a little bit over 20. So almost 21 of them. That can't possibly be right. But yeah. <laughs> Seriously, I'd just go for making two personally. That can't be right. See, that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, no, that's, um, You'd need 125 of the bush, and when I calculated it, you divide the 125 by 6, because that's how many you'll get to spit out of each of the cabins. Three on the first tap, and then three more that spawn. So, yeah, that's... 125 divided by 6 is 20.83 repeating so yeah that'd be 21 cabins oh it spawns eight okay my bad i was calculating it thinking six thank you paula so yeah i don't know everything without looking it up I thought it was 16. Okay. Yeah, for two wonders, it's 26. So it's 10 more than if you were doing one wonder. If you want to do two. Let's clean this up a little. There we go with that five merge there. And that's a five merge there. Five merge those. And these and that pushes that for a merge. Combo over. Get everybody back on the flowers for a second here. Five merge those up there. That's two giants. Move these great ones up. Okay. Merge all of this over into here. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Merge these. Merge these for two more 
great ones and back to work guys All right, so steady on here. Just keep on harvesting. Orbs, 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 orbs. Lots and lots of orbs, Tom. Yeah, if you're not familiar with it, this is a good site to have on hand, Mergeling.com. It can help you figure out how much you need of anything to make whatever you're after in a chain. Oh, wow. Wow. I didn't know that was possible either. That's nice. But that could get messy. Well, that's very nice to know. And it's time to do a merge because I'm starting to bubble stuff again. Bring that down here. Bring those combo orbs out. Let's see, that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Merge those. Merge these. That's a couple more of the great orbs. Oh yeah, this method is very good. If you can afford to do it, I highly advise it as long as you're able to play actively. And if you are, you know, strapped for gems, you can do this with as little as 10 gems. That will only give you one flower for the prism flowers. I usually suggest having two. That way your two dragons are not fighting over the same flower. You're not having to drag and drop for the second one. You can just do taps. But you can get away with it with just 10 gems. Yeah, it's definitely pretty cheap considering how much of your weekend you can save if you're able to devote the time to doing the active play. Well, if you do, good luck. I stream this every Friday when there's an event. Now, it does, when you first do this, the first few times, you're going to feel like you're wasting time, but you're setting up to get there. Awesome. I'll look forward to seeing you again. But yeah, 
the first few times I did this with the prism flowers, I felt like I was going backwards, like I was wasting my time. And then I got the hang of it, got the rhythm for it, and started refining how I want how I go about it for myself. And I just kept every week getting more and more speed as I got more familiar with it. It took me a couple attempts before I was really sold on it. And now I can't imagine doing it any other way. Other than when I do it the um, classic way for a secondary stream. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. And I feel like I've got enough um, twin flowers here that I'm actually going to not worry about making any more flowers. Unless it's happenstance. So what you'll see me doing later is before I launch my orbs, I fill up the camp and I or fill up the event map and then have my dragons all holding an orb so their hands are full. Then I launch my orb and do my perimeter merges and fill in the spaces as I'm going along so that they can't make a big mess. And so I can get those perimeter merges so they'll ignore, they can't go running off after the skulls and like that. Which helps massively. And I'll also have it all filled up when I'm doing my um, bramble harvest, since I don't plan on having any more flowers. Yep, so they can't collect the skulls if their hands are full. If there's no one with... Words. I can speak English. I can words. Okay, let's try that again. If there is nowhere for them to drop those orbs, they can't drop them anywhere and then go running off after the skulls. So the skulls are safe for the perimeter merges. They can't go harvesting point items and making a mess there. As long as the um, harvestables later on for the quest that has you harvest 75 times off of the what is usually a 2 by one as long as it's full, then I get to bubble those up and bring them down and have them ready for when I get to that quest. But I don't have to try to make sure I have myself to that point when those get uncovered. And I don't have to try to keep them out of trouble with those. Which takes the stress off. Yes, I'm very glad that they put the points that are needed back to normal rather than that just pretty much asinine two 10-point items that you needed. That was ridiculous. It's still like that the last I heard for Merge Magic, though. That's one of the reasons I really don't do anything with Merge Magic, other than the fact that right now I can't even get my uh, cloud safe back for that. Been three months. In July, August, yeah. Been three months since I changed devices, changed computers, and the version of the game that you can download is not the one that my cloud save is on. 
the version you can get now is actually older than what my cloud save is on because they rolled it back at some point. Oh, and there we go. Let's merge this on up. Let's merge all of these down here and get these out of their bubbles. Send everybody back to work. Yes, the points that you need, it's two level nines to get all of the rewards. Your portal level increases the amount of rewards you get. It doesn't change the amount of points that you'll need. Yes, absolutely. I agree, Paula. It's insane what they were wanting people to do to get their rewards when they did that with those, with the point items. It just, it was insane. Yeah, the benefit of updating, of upgrading your portal is just getting more rewards. In fact, here, let me show you. Um, Nicole, I have the maxed out portal for it. So I get eight of the eggs here, two of the Arcadia chests, two of the nest. I get the tree, nine of the well, three of the super nest. You get the um, trophy item, six of that dragon, three of the noble moon dragon in this one, and five level four of the um turtle dragon so that's what the maxed out portal gets you oh the required points stay the same so you're all set you just get more rewards yeah now the what side is there is a b testing going on i think still what will go up is the cost of doing the roll for bonus items after the event after the event has ended um to roll for me it's like 300 and some gems if i were to roll but i don't bother with the amount of rewards we're getting, the only things I'd be interested in would be like getting an extra one of the trophies. And personally, I don't need more of the trophies. Yep. I think that's what mine is as well. I'd have to check. I don't pay much mind to it because I don't roll most weeks. That combo out open up these bubbled up ones so yeah that's that's the only downside is that once you've started upgrading it does increase the cost for the bonus reward roll <clears throat> which when you think about it if you're doing that and you get the um the top reward one doubled that's well worth it come to think of it. So if you get like the best rewards, it's totally worth that point of those um, gems. But it's totally unnecessary too. So yeah, I'm all about upgrading those portals. Now, on the other hand, let's talk about the shrine. The shrine, I do not feel is worth it at all, even when you've got it maxed out. 
I don't think the rewards are worth the 200 gems that it costs to buy your rewards after you've worked your butt off to get them. Yes, I bubble up my trophies. They're nice to have out, though, if you're going to have them out. You do get charges on those, and when you tap them and get the things, wait and merge those up so that you get the level 2s of them. When you tap on the level 2s of the items from them, you have a chance of getting eggs. So, they can benefit. If I didn't have level 10s of the dragons, I might keep the trophies out when I'm keeping my wonders out as well. So that those get charged up to give me more rewards. But once I have level 10s of dragons, I don't keep the stuff out. I've got it there for decoration if I ever want to just have a decorated camp. But typically, I keep my camp in a state of ready to work. My camp is a workshop. There you go. Yeah, that's a very good use for it. Personally, for working on the Dragon Tree Wonder, what I did was I would build up the um, glowing trees to the first harvestable level and keep those there right because the only thing that harvests off those first harvestable of the glowing trees is leaves and amber they don't harvest anything else out and then i just farm leaves non-stop until my dragons were exhausted now i'm at the point where my dragons never get exhausted so i would just farm that And then I could go through and just make a burst towards making the trees. And then I'd keep my apples out as well to help. And merge up, fill it up again, keep on harvesting, and bubble up the regular dragon trees that I was making along the way. So that they were out of the way. They weren't going with logs or anything. And just keeping things nice and neat. Focused in. And busting out progress. Very much an assembly line kind of workshop thing that was going on there. Maybe sometime I'll show what I do with that, how I'd farm them out. Oh, I wish I could give people stone that I have stored up. I have bubbles of stone from filling up the um, maximum sized stone storage. And then having my map full and bubbling those because a max size stone storage takes two of the max size stones that you can make to fill it up. But if you bubble it, it drops that full storage worth as a single item. So it halves that. Pearlescent chests are nice though. And that's a good way to convert your stone into coin too is those pearlescent chests.
Oh, I'm starting to bubble up again. Let's merge. There we go. Bring that down. And that's six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Merge those. Merge those. Bring those over. Send them back to work again. So, yeah. And the thing, the thing that really kicks <laughs> is that once you're familiar with doing things like that in one of these merge games, it pretty much applies to all of them, or most of them. The strategies are fairly similar. The purple stars, as long as a level drops stars for the quest rewards, there's approximately a 5% or so chance of each star being a purple star. So any level that gives you stars can give you purple stars. As long as you have purchasing enabled, right? So if you have it disabled for spending money, you'll never get purple stars. That's in your settings. Now. So, yeah. <laughs> the best way to farm for them is to do levels that reward with stars, are short to do, and only cost you one chalice. So things like Skull Grove, which is very close to the start of the map. Zomblin Falls 1. Fear Isle 1, I think it is. Um, there's Peace Isles, which is good when you're doing season stuff. And Dreadmarsh 3 is super fast. Peace Isles takes a while to do, but it's good for doing season quests. Yeah, Skull Grove has been very good to me lately. Silent Bay 9, yeah. There's a whole bunch of them. But yeah, any of them that drop stars have a chance of giving you purple stars. And you can get as many as three purple stars in a level. It's rare to get that many, but it does happen. All right. Have a nice dinner, Nicole. Yep. That one. The infinite chest trick that um Bruno showed us and showed and has in videos works in Dragon and Elf still. Which is an excellent trick. Merge those. Let's see, there's three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five merge there. Whoops. How are you doing, Dark Fury? Um, oh, let's see. You need vermilion glowing trees and stalwart shroom for a quest. 
Um, I can't think of one off the top of my head for that. There's a couple of different ones you could do. I know there's one where they have the floating leaves and it's pretty much a tr dragon tree farm for me. Awesome. Awesome. Good luck. I'm sure you've got this. All right. Let's get my music going again. Yes, I'm still listening. All right. So I'm trying to think what the level is. I know there's one with the floating seeds. I've got a couple of different farms that I've got built. Yeah, the healer is good for that. Hello, Storm, Storm Martin. So, um... The map that I'm thinking of, I can't think of the name of the level, but the map for it actually looks like a giant dragon tree leaf. And I've got that just set up as a farm. I also have what was my initial Midas tree farm that has turned into a farm for doing portal quests for almost all of them. A goodly portion of them. That I just just crank them out in it. Then Robin, no, we have not heard anything from Bruno in almost a year now. In October, it'll be a year since he's pretty much disappeared. I'm trying to think what one that is. Hold on. If I see the name for it, I'll recognize it. Uh -oh. All right, so Drakeshire 2 is one that I use for dragon trees. No, not set up. Oh, I need to merge. Got a little tunnel vision and focused in on the wrong thing there. Trying to think of that level. All right, let's get some merging done in here. If I've merged those, if I've merged these guys, let's merge all of this. Let's get some of this cleaned up. All right, let's see. There's five there. I wish we'd get some news about Bruno and miss him. And I know you guys do too. All right, let's bring these up. Bring that out. I've merged those. Five merged there. Five merged there. Bring these up. Those two down. That's a five merged there. That's a couple more of the great orbs. Bring 
those down. Five merge those for a couple more giants. Five merge those for a couple more giants. Here's two more souls. All right, so that's four souls already. Let's get back to it. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that could be two. Um, like I said, I have one that I use to use to Midas farm before Spell Short uh, Secret 2 came along. And I just converted it into a farm for everything except for fruit trees and grim trees, I think it was. And that was in the Drake levels too, I think, or in Totem. Oh, that that's the one I was thinking of. Totem Grid was the one that I used to use for a Midas farm, and I turned it into my everything, almost everything farm. And that was all... There's not trees in that one only because I had initially had it purely as Midas farm. So I got rid of the trees that it started out with. Otherwise I could have been doing fruit trees in it too. Mm-hmm. I get ya. Alright, let's get rid of that little essence. You're right. Okay, so I just keep on harvesting here. Not yet, but I'm getting close. Of course, I still need to do my Brambles quest, but like I said, I'm going for making two heavens before I even get to that quest. Soon, though. 
very soon. All right, let's merge down into here. And we're gonna pull that down and do another merge. All right. Let's see. That's a five merge there. One, two, three, four, and five. That's eight, nine, and 10. So that's a five merge there. That's two more of the great orbs. Those dimensional jars can come out. Oops. Mr. Doc, why are you bringing me essences? All right. Now, I need to remember, I've got a couple of great orbs up top, too. I need to bring those down. I'm going to fill things up. Actually, before I forget about them and go doing anything, let's bring those down. So we've also got those wondrous orbs that I'm going to bring down. Make a five merge there. I wasn't careful with you guys for nothing. Bring these dimensional jars out of my way for now. Hey, you need to come back down. Bring that flower up. This guy is all back down here. Bring those combo orbs over. All right, so getting real close. Bring these furious orbs down. Lock it. And work on this just a little bit more. Just 
dimensional jars dispensing with themselves as their timers run out. Bring that grass back down. All right, it's all filled up. Let's merge that flower back down here. There we go. We'll merge down in here. see that's a five there five there and that's six seven eight nine harvest a little bit more and let's see here Just do a little bit more, and I'll do a little clean up. That bring these down, and that up. Remerge those. That makes a ten for those, and that's a five for those. That's a five for the great ones, which gives me two more of the giant ones. Now we'll go right ahead with it. Oh, that sounds lovely, Sage. I'm glad you're getting some rain and that it's cooled off a little for you. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah, for sure. So the best place to launch an orb for going for the brambles is going to be up at the top and going across because up top there is where the lower heels are going to be to get to the brambles it starts getting into five thousands already over on the right whereas there's five hundreds up in the top area here So that's where I'm planning on my first heavens going, is right up at the top. All right, so it's filled up again. Let's do one of those big merges. There we go. Mass merge those as well. 
Bring one of those furious orbs off. Merge those. That's a five merge there for two more of the great orbs. Get these guys back to work. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and three merge these great orbs. So I can five merge these giants and five merge these life orbs of souls. There's my first two heavens. Now it's time to fill up the map. All right, see you later, Paula. And good luck with the rest of the event. So those first two heavens I made, they're not going to count for the quest for them, for making them. But that's okay, because like I said, I'll need to make five in total. Making a note for myself that I've already made the two. Filling this up like this, like I said earlier, lets me protect my perimeter merges and my skulls for the perimeter merges. That little investment in time can save me massive amounts of energy for making heals. All right, so they're starting to bubble things up. That's good. Let them do that a couple more times. And I'm going to unlock my screen. I'm also going to launch some of these combos down here so that I can heal out that cloud key spot there. There we go. All these little bits of extra heal from my mass merging. All right. So we're going to come up here and decide where exactly I'm going to launch that from. Um... Move you over here. I'm going to bring that right up here. And launch it right there.
Now get all their attention back down here on these flowers. And I'm going to check out what I've got going on over here. That point item can come over. And that one can as well. As can that one. And I've got another one of those for a five merge on those point items there. I've got a three merge with these harvesters here because I already did a five merge with them. So I can bring that up, bring these long skulls over here, a couple boxes down here, round skulls down here. And let's see. point items there. Let's fill this back up. You guys all back down here. All right, let's see. Now then, we're going to take care of that key there. This can come up. And we've got this key here. Bring that back over. Oops, I did not want to tap on that. Okay. Let's see. And then we've got this key here. Bring that back up there. Fill in some spots. All right. Bring that other heel. Oh. Okay. I'm probably going to lose a little bit of progress there. Because the game crashed. Alright. See you later, Sage. Good luck with work. And good luck with the rest of the event. Well, that was... Something, wasn't it? The game crashing on me. Hopefully it didn't roll it back too much. Fingers crossed. Okay, those keys are still uncovered. Good. Okay. All right. Bring that pink berry up, bring that one up so I can keep an eye on them. All right, we're good. We're good. Gonna bring all my little bushes up. Hmm. And all my little broken columns. Let's bring that orb over. Now, before I get too carried away here, let's harvest out dead things. Yeah, we'll bring this egg down and let's see if we get a... Ooh, we got a crimson. Good. Another useful one for the family here.
And since I'm not really worried about making more flowers, I'm just going to harvest this stuff out. If it bubbles, it bubbles. That's that quest done. Hmm. All right, so I've got this can come up, this can come up, that can come out of the way. That flower can come over there. That's three of those. That's four, five of those. I'll keep an eye out for another one of those. bone pile can come up where it's not going to be interfering with anybody. Let me double check our keys. Hold on a second. All right, so that tree should be it. I'm going to merge these, that, use that combo, we're going to merge those, and let me double check one more time, alright, I got that key that's over there, good, alright, we're going to grab that, make that key, Fill this place back up again. All right, all y'all are good. Let that bring that up. Bring these point items over. Get rid of those sprouts. Get rid of that sprout. your hands full again you're not gonna go after my skulls hmm. all right do I want to try to aim high or low capsules down there let's see star is over there I kind of want to aim low all right well we're gonna aim low Let's go. And that's a long spell there and there. And there's some bones for that spot there. A couple point items over here. And round skulls right there. Put these guys back over here. Make a couple turtles. We're gonna bring these over and we're gonna bring this column up here. I've merged there. 
gives me a couple of koi or carp. All right. Let's see. Hmm, maybe I should have brought those columns over here rather than over there. Eh, we'll worry about it later. We'll bring the one over when we get there. All right. That's a five merge of those. Five merge of those. That takes care of this cloud key here. Do we have any more of the little purple twin flower? I'm thinking no. All right, let's bring that carp up. We're going to merge those guys. Merge those. And those. Merge these up. Bring those little turtles over here. One. Okay, let's see. Arch those turtles there. That's a couple more of the carp. Hmm. Okay. Let's take one more lot. Okay. We're going to go ahead in for a penny and for a pound. We're going to merge those merge. I'm going to open that cloud key there. Ooh, another column. Okay. Well, that should do. Let's get you boys back down here. Quick, swift look around. Bring that furious orb over. That up there. Get that grass out of here. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. These can all get out of my sight and out of my way. Push those up. We're gonna grab that. Make that. Make that merge. That's a couple glowing flowers. Woo. Alright. Lock it down. Quit piddling around. that and get rid of that. Let's 
merge things up down here. And send everybody back to work. Let's wholesale start farming out some orbs again. All right, just farming away. Oh, uh, let's move that bramble out of the middle of my harvest patch. Hey, okay. all right. Let's shove it down there. Go over there. All right. There we go. Ooh, that is a nice round set of five merges there. Fifteen merge? Ooh. Let's go ahead and do that. Bring one of those out. Put those up. All right, back at it. Easy breezy, beautiful ass. Round five there. So how's everybody doing? How's your progress in the event? Nice. Oops, I'm getting a little tunnel vision going here. Just got so comfortable harvesting. All right, let's merge that on up. 
Bring those combo orbs off. Open up some of these bubbled up orbs that I've got going on because I got just into the groove. Glad you got a nice haul of dragons there. All right, let's see here. And we'll get back to it here, full stop. Yeah, I definitely like the layout on this map. Although, I've got to admit, sometimes I really like when we've got a little side island that I can have my flowers really spread out on and separated without having to worry about accidentally merging them together. This does have that liability. With eight dragons, you're going to want a couple more twin flowers than I have. Yeah, that's pretty easy to do. When I've got a little side island, I can sit there and put things behind there that aren't points or anything, so I can protect myself from tapping on orbs. But sometimes it happens anyway. I do like having them down along this bottom edge, and then I tap on the lowest part along that edge to where I can make the contact with them. That's why you see me always line up along this bottom edge like this as much as possible. Good plan there. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with merging them up to make it more manageable. Sometimes you gotta. Woo, that was a combo and a half there. Let's open those up. Get these guys down. Let's see. That'll make five, round fives there. Merge those. Merge these guys. That'll make a five merge up there. That's a five merge there. Let's see. That's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remove you off to the side. Bring this one down. Ooh. Bring one of these down. Move that souls up and these two giants up. Move their dimensional jars over. You can come up here. you guys up you guys are getting off and up to no good get back here pay attention to what you're supposed to be doing dragons you don't need to be going heron off into the wild there i might actually want one more twin flower if i can come up with it we'll see though One more twin flower might make it just right. That might make my sweet spot. Ah, uh, hmm. Got a couple glowings up there, so I could wander around looking, but we'll wait. Or I'll wait for a little bit here.
at the very least, I'm going to fill it up before I wander around looking at the scenery. So I've only got a couple of cloud keys left. The golden capsule, the star, the point item teddy bear there. Um, and the smallest temple in the world. All right, I'm actually going to go wander around and see if I can find another glowing flower hiding out somewhere up here. Hmm. No, but I should be able to make one. Five merge there. Mass merging there. Merge there. Merge this down here. Get you guys back down here. that three merge there and we'll three merge those there's my other twin flower that I wanted stick you right there okay that feels better And bring those two in. Oh, actually, yeah, two. That one over, and we'll merge those up. Bring you down here. Let's lock it and sock it to it. Okay, that's much smoother. Yep, one more flower was what it needed. That feels even better. Excellent. All right. So that should really let me crank these out now.
Alrighty. Working my way towards the heavens that will count for the quest. And I'm actually going to merge towards the right this time to try to pull that CN orb down. There we go. It's all filled up. Let's go ahead and merge. We're going to merge over this way. Oh, didn't get that CN orb. That's okay those guys in that five merge so five merge with these great orbs there's a couple more of the giants now let's see if i can stuff this no nope. it does not want to go up there I did get some of the purple orbs out of there, though. That's good. There goes some dimensional jars. Nice, nice. Very nice. Now, if I felt like I had too many dragons, I could merge those crimsons, which I'm not going to do. If you ever need to merge dragons inside of a level or in an event, you need to have all of them that are going to be involved in the merge over land when you try to initiate the merge. Otherwise, it won't pick them all up. It'll only grab onto ones that are over land. Stretch. Okay. Mm. Don't forget to move around a little bit and keep limber. Stay hydrated. All right, let's merge these up. There we go. Bring those combo bubbles off that are within reach. 
Let's see, there's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 merged there. Bring one of those over. Five merged there. <coughs> Back to work, and my water's got bones in it. Sorry about that. All right. Well, let's keep on harvesting. Now, if memory serves, behind the golden capsule, there will be one of the two-by-ones and maybe a couple of giant orbs, which will be useful. Let's see here. All right. Just careening right along here. Keeping focused on all that harvesting. Feeling like I'm about ready to make a merge. So we're going to pop that orb open and we are going to do that. We're going to merge down here. Get that. Get those combos out. That's nine, that's 10 and 11. So we'll merge those. And five merge those. These guys down here. And that's a five merge with those wondrous orbs. It gives me two more of the great ones. And we're going to move these guys up so I don't accidentally tap on one. Send them all back to work again. All right.
Yes, I have tapped on it, so I am now on that quest. Although my first two Life Orbs of Heaven would not count towards the quest because I made those before I did the Brambles. But yes, I've tapped on it as soon as that came up. That is currently the quest I'm on. I tried it a couple weeks ago where I made my first two heavens before I got to the quest. And I think I prefer doing it this way now. Since I know I'm going to need to make five in total. I'm not going to stress about it for getting enough heal to get the brambles before I make those heavens. So that's why the first two didn't count, because I made that conscious decision to make them before I got to it. I'm glad you managed to do it. Oops, put that back. Let's merge these down. actually going to tap these combos out because I'm not worried about those healing out any of the two by ones yet. Let's see, there's four, there's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hmm. Yep. Exactly. All right, so let's bring those over for a five there. That's a 10 here. I'll make that five merge down this way so they don't bounce together. I'll make that five merge there. There's two more of the great orbs, or the giants, I should say. And we'll bring those over and that up. Send everybody back to work before they go making a mess. Get back down here, guys. Come on. You know you're supposed to be on the flowers, not wandering off and doing other things. Sometimes herding these dragons is like herding cats. I can grab that sienna orb that's up behind my stone. Yes, I can. Merge that and get those furious orbs over. All right. I could get rid of those two ruby eggs since there's nothing to merge with them and there won't be later. And give me a couple more spots to fill in, but... Ah. I think you're fine how it is. Yeah, and if I'm going to launch a souls for the brambles, I want one souls to do it. That way I have the one in reserve. So I figure, you know, why not go ahead and make a couple of heavens? And then I'll have a souls in reserve anyway, usually. Because once you get up to that size orb, it's like, well, I'm going to make five merges. Even though it takes a little longer, it saves time in the long run. All right, so there goes a couple of those dimensional jars. Oh my goodness. 
I hope she recovers the sight in her one eye. I'm sorry to hear she had a stroke. I'm glad she's recovering and that she's okay. Uh, that, I, I don't blame you at all for not being focused after something like that. I wouldn't be. I would not be able to focus at all. All right, search these on up. Bring that up. Ooh, oh, that's a file merge there. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll bring a couple of these off. That's a 10 merge there. Five merge there. Send everybody back to it. Although that being said, I find that when I'm really stressed out or anxious, that focusing in on a merge game or on harvesting gathering in other games is one of the things that helps me find clarity and helps take away that anxiety it forces me into a calm space and my mind can be raging a mile a minute on everything else, but the, just the, um, routine helps draw me back to a quiet place for my mind to where I can regain my focus on everything else. The structure of it helps my um, focus and knowing that I need to focus to be efficient. It, it creates a feedback loop for me. Well, I'm glad she's out of the hospital. I hope she stays on top of everything she needs to do to make a full recovery. And I'll be sending all sorts of positive energy towards, you know, her speedy recovery and full recovery. Hey Jody, how you doing? How are things in your neck of the woods? Glad to hear that. How's your hobby? How's everything going with everything? And we'll five merge those. Two more souls there. Bring that giant one over here. And get these guys back to work. Oh no, Jody. I'm so sorry to hear that. All right, Glee, enjoy down the hall, and thank you for the reminder. I'm still hoping you'll find your pup.
I mean, yeah, there's a chance that you won't, but I'll keep hoping. You're welcome. All right, so making steady progress here. I've got three souls now and two giants. Oof. Well, I wish you luck with those insurance people. I hope they pull their thumbs out of their... Uh, <clears throat> unmentionable places and that they take good care of you all right let's merge down into here and there's a five merge there five merge those Let's go ahead and use those combos and bring that out. That's nine. Bring these out. That's a ten merge there. Five merge those. That's a couple more great orbs there. Ooh. Well, if you gotta, you gotta, but, man, that's just, after everything you guys have been through, to have to deal with something like that, it's, it's tragic. It's like, It's just insane to think that you might have to go through that to get what you do. Mm-hmm. I hope if it comes to that, that they have to pay more than they would actually owe you. That they get made a lesson of. Yeah, really. They're sure happy to take your money. But when it comes to making good on their promise, they sure are reluctant.
All right, it's about time for another merge. Yep, there we go. Let's merge it. And that's a five merge up there. We'll bring that up for a five merge there. Ten merge here. And we're going to bring these over so I don't have it bounce into those. Bring these over now. Bring these up and make a couple furious orbs there. All right, get back to work again. Steadily going at it. All right. So, got three souls. I've got two giants. And I'm getting close to having two more giants. goes some of those dimensional jars and there goes another one awesome some space clearing up about time for another merge and there it goes they're bubbling so yes it is all right we'll merge those down here so those combos up let's see there's eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen all right five merge those Five mergies down this way. That's a couple more giants. And a great orb. Fill it up again. Just keep on steady harvesting. Keep that steady rhythm a going.
All right, let's merge again since it's all filled up. All right. Get those combos out. And let's see here. So there's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Bring one of these up. There's a 5 merge there and a 5 merge there. And we'll bring these down. 5 merge there. Bring those giants down. 5 merge those. So with the one that's up here, that's a five merge. That's two more souls, two that'll count for the quest. Let's fill it up. So that means I've made four now in total of the heavens. I'm going to fill this up and then I will unlock the map and go launch those. As usual, I want it full so that I'm protecting my perimeter merges, which will save me some heals, hopefully. Some of these dimensional jars are getting ready to go. That one up there for that great orb, especially. Two of them. Hello, Johnny Guitar. How are you doing today? If you're playing the event, good luck. So it should be getting pretty close to full here. There we go. They're starting to bubble things up. Let them do that a couple of times. And now I'm going to unlock my map. And bring all these heavens all the way over here. And I still want to go across the bottom because I want that capsule. So we're going to do that. And now I can bubble that two by one that just came out and bring it over and collect that quest. Let's see here. Okay, perimeter merges. There's a round skull there. And I need another round skull. There's one. Excellent. Our harvester can come over. And we're going to 
get everybody back down here. Start filling in. Grab that other heavens. Bring that on up he over here. All right, we're going to launch this down here. Bubble that and bring it over. These guys going on with being down here, so they're leaving my skulls alone. All right, this guy can get bubbled up as well and brought down. Now then, what do we got going up here? There's a long skull there and there. That'll save a little bit of heal as well. Go ahead and spread those bones out. Hmm. All right, let's grab this and bring it over. And that can come in there. All right. And then we're going to grab the star, uncover that key. You guys can get back over here. We're going to use that bear, that panda, and uncover that key. Awesome. Get rid of that sprout. All right, let's see here. Gonna get rid of these. And get rid of these eggs after all. To stop that traffic jam that I'm gonna have if I don't. Alright, now we're gonna bring that capsule over and uncover that key. Excellent. Go on. Bubble that guy. There we go. Now I've got three of those that are all bubbled up nice and neat. All right, let's see. So now that I got those, I don't need to worry about that last one that's out there. Keep everybody focused down here for the moment. All right, they're all filled up. Let's have a quick look around. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to just move stuff around, start gathering up point items a little bit, start bringing these trees together as well. Let's see. Another one of these. Bring that down. Bring this guy over. Alright, so I need that next. Okay. Five merge those. That puts one of them in a bubble. Okay, use that combo orb while I'm at it. Let's see. Bring these two giants up here. I'll merge these guys down here and get a couple of turtles. Bring those turtles on over. Let's see here. I'll bring these great orbs over in here. That's going to force a merge. And that's going to force a merge, which is A OK -okay with me at this point. All right, let's get these going on. And let's see one, two, three, four, five. Five merge those, five merge those. Five merge these, 
All right, we're just going to shove these dimensional jars out of the way. Bring you over here. Those dimensional jars will go away shortly. And let's see, we'll bring this giant orb over as well. Add up there. Get these bubbles all opened up. That dimensional jar just went poof. All right. That bush can come out of the way. That wondrous orb can come over here where I can keep an eye on it. And we're going to lock things down. Get comfortable with my rhythm. Oh, let's try that again. That did not feel right. Let's adjust where I've got things just a bit. There we go. That feels better. Well, it does mean that those giant orbs are off on the side, out of sight. I do remember that they're there. And that feels better. So we'll keep on keeping on with those harvests. Hello, Andrea. Good luck to you for the event. And thank you. I hope you have a great weekend, too. Mistrian. Good to see you, man. Doing all right. Doing all right. Hope things are well with you. Long time, man. It has been an age. <laughs> Goodness. I'm hoping that I'll wrap this up in five hours at this rate for this event. But it might take a little bit longer than that. Looking at the time that I'm at. I should definitely come in under that six that I was hoping for at the high end of things. Oh. Hmm. oh, there's a great orb up there that I was not realizing was there. I'll need to bring that down. When I do that, that should launch. Whoops, there we go. It's all filled up. Put the flower back. Let's merge. Bring that orb down. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. And we'll move this one away, and that makes a round five merge. We'll bring a couple of those out. There's a five merge there. There's two more of the giant orbs now. And we'll bring those over onto the side. Send everybody back to work again. All right, so. Here we go. I'm gonna move those bones over. There. Move 
those brambles in there. That'll get that out of the way. Just slight alterations where things are to make it so things touch easier. Yeah, still grinding away. How you doing? I'm getting close to making what will be the third one for the quest for the Life Orbs of Heaven. And the fifth one total. I will go for making two souls this time. That way I'll have one of them towards the two that I'll need after I've made my fifth heavens. Yeah, everything's good. Congratulations on the promotion. I bet things were quite busy for you <laughs> after that. Yeah. I hope you find some time to game with us again. We do miss you. Glad to hear things are good, yet busy. Busy is good, though. Don't worry, you got a warm seat waiting for you. I will probably be streaming some Final Fantasy, the Endwalker expansion on an alt again tomorrow. Maybe even a couple streams of it. We'll see. I do need to do some more recording for Merge Dragons, though, because I want to get through to some more of the challenge levels to get videos out on those for folks. All right, so it's bubbling up. Let's merge. Get on down here. Put those combos. Open those up. Let's see. There's four, eight, 12, 13, 14, 15. Bring one of those off to the side. Five merge there. All right. I've got one cloud key left to finish. And that's that smallest temple. Oh, there goes dimensional jars. Nice. 
And I should be able to, after this next heal, get that cloud key taken care of. because I'm going to launch that heavens to where it should go up and heal out the um, column that I need. Let's go ahead and merge before I get this filled in this time. These down here. Excellent. All right. So there's four, eight, 12. Ooh, close. All right, let's go ahead and merge these and those. There's a five merge there. All right, so that's 12, 13, 14, 15 there. Bring that over. That's a five merge there. That's a five merge there. All right. Let's fill it on up. Once I've got it full this time, I'm going to unlock it and go about and make that heavens. Then make sure it's full again. Just going to carefully cap out orbs so that I can make the merges without causing a mass merge. So that'll be the third one for the quest, the fifth one overall. Gonna keep on grinding for a couple more minutes here. There goes a dimensional jar. I still need to worry about making the five point items that are wanted for a quest, and then I can deal with those two by ones. I will be using the uh, cheeky four merge to make those
just to complete that quest a little bit faster. If we needed the 10, the level 10 items, I wouldn't be doing that. But since we only need the level 9s, two of the level 9s, I have the liberty of doing it that way. which saves a whole lot of work. Good, it's all filled up. I can unlock the map now. And go about making those careful merges that I was talking about. That five merge there. Oh, maybe I should do a little bit more. Yep, a little bit more. Bring these down here. Bring these down. All right, we're going to bring that capsule out of the way. Bring that down. Put you guys back down here into Grind Town. Five merge there. Five merge there. Five merge those. Five merge those. Bring these over. Get those dimensional jars out of my way. All right, let's lock it down again. Establish my rhythm again. That should be all right. Let's do it to it. There we go. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. All right. Uh, before I get too carried away, let's merge. Merge again. Bring these over for a five merge over here. Ten merge here. That's a five merge there. And we'll bring that over. Send them back to work again. All right, almost time for a merge again. There we go. Let's do it. Okay, and we'll five merge there. Use that combo. That's a 10. That's a five. 
that's a five. Bring that down, and that's a five. All right, and that's a five there. That's a five merge with those. And a five merge with those. Five merge those. There's two more souls. Let's unlock it. Make that heavens there. Now we've got a souls. There's that quest complete. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill this on up again. Let's lock her down. And let's fill it on up. That feels pretty steady there. Pretty comfortable with that harvesting. All right. So away we go. I should need probably one more souls after I've done the heals. I've got three quests total left to do. All right, it's all filled up. Let them bubble for a second here. Just keep on harvesting a couple more bits. All right, that's good. Now I'm going to unlock it. I'm going to grab that heavens. Bring it up here where that pineapple was. And I'm going to launch it right here. There's that column I was after. Bubble that, bring that down. Now I've got four of those I'll be able to harvest. Pop that open and just get that taken care of. There's another column. All right, we've got some round skulls. It'll merge down here. And I've got this tree that'll come up here. I've got one of these. Ooh, 
can't get it quite in there though, can I? Hmm. Okay. Well, and I know I've got another one of those bubbled down here. So I'm gonna pop a couple of these out and get. There's nowhere for that to go. Well, let's open up one more orb. There we go. Now I've got that out. Got that ready. Let's bring those columns together. And those. And there's that temple. All right. So there's that for that key there. Let's fill this back up. Everybody's hands are full. Good. All right, so I've got a soul there. I've got a couple of those koi or carp, and there's one up there. Pop that and bring those over. And that's two out of five. Bring that over. Well, four merge these. That's three out of five. Okay, their hands are all full. Let's see, where was that? Souls again. I bring that souls over. Launch this down here. Or do I want to launch it up here? Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which way do I want to go? I want to kind of come down here, I think. All right, let's launch it. There we go. Merge these guys and get that out of there. All right, so I've got, how much more heal do I need? That's three, and that's say eight, 58, 68, 78, Let's say 88. All right. Well, let's do it. Nine, 10, 13, 14, 15, we'll move that one away. Five merge there. Bring that over there. The wondrous one that can come down. Let's see here. Start bringing some point items together as well. So that we can clear that on out. Here's a couple more turtles. Bring those over.
charge those up. And it's a couple more of the carp. All right, let's see. Okay. Let's tap that out and that out. All right, let's see here. That down and these over. It's four of those. Orb down and that one down. Five merge there. All right. Five merge those. Five merge there. Five merge these guys. That's two more giants. All right. Let's see what we've got over here a little further. Five merge those. That's a couple more of those flowers. Five merge these guys. A couple more flowers to come over, which will give me a couple more turtles. Five merge those. That wondrous orb can come on over. Five merge these carp. There's that quest taken care of. Now we can tap on that. All right, so I've got three of those bears down there. And that's the level eight, so I want two more of those before I get done. Do I have another? Ooh. There's a turtle we'll bring down. Merge those, merge those. Bring that over. Make it five merge there. Point item over. Bring those furious orbs over. that one over okay so that the souls is 65 so I need a little more than a souls okay Let's lock it and get back to work. That's a good rhythm. Let's keep that going. Welcome back, Nicole. I'm in the final stretch. Which means I'm actually going to get ready for the stopwatch to stop. All right, I'm ready for that.
So I'm gonna make two more of these giant orbs. <clears throat> Pardon me. Let's merge. That's a 10 merge there. Five merge there. So I'm finding that when I do the two heavens before the quest, I actually end up needing a little more heal than when I do it the other way. But this feels more comfortable overall. I also didn't get quite as many perimeter merges this time as I usually do, I think. So it balances out. All right, it's about time for a merge here in just a moment. Let's go ahead and do that now. Ooh. Nice 10 merge there. Now, if I was only looking for a souls, I'd be there. But I want a souls and a giant, <clears throat> I think. So I'm going to just go a little bit longer here. Put in that little bit of extra time. It's over and make a five merge there. And we'll merge all of these guys up. Five merge there. Five merge those. That's ready for a five merge when I get a couple more wondrous orbs.
And you know what? I'm tempted. Two, three, four, five. And f mm, but I don't want to make a mess. I'm half tempted to merge these flowers and start getting purple orbs and then get out these two by ones. Since I'm to that quest now. But it'll make a mess. And it might make things take a little bit longer. So I'm just going to stay on one task. Not, not split my attention. I'm so close. Rather than trying to multitask. There goes some dimensional jars. Let's bring that purple orb down here, and that'll make those go. We'll bring that over, that over, and we've got this one that's a straggler. Merge those. That's a 10. That's a 3. That's a 10. That's a 5. Merge these guys. Actually, I'm going to arrange them and do a combo. Might as well get that little bit of combo. Merge those. And that should do it. I'm going to get these out. And get this guy out too. All right. Let's unlock this map. Let's get these guys going on. Bring this on up here. Yeah, real close. All right. We're going to bring that up. Oh, 30,000 still. Or a little bit more to get. Hmm. All right, so I was cutting out a little finer than I thought I was. Let's lock it. Yeah, about 3,000 is what I still need. All right, well, let's do a little more. Go ahead and merge. And we'll harvest a little more.
Almost there. Let's go ahead and merge those. Bring that down and merge those. Merge these guys up. Let's unlock this. Bring that down for a 10 merge there. Five merge. Three merge those. Five merge those. That 4,000 should be enough. Let's start harvesting off of these things again. If I don't get the notification. Then I will launch the other orb. There we go. All the land healed. Get rid of those orbs anyway. Just crank out these. Hey, another harvester. Nice. Gonna be ready to stop the clock at any moment. There's another harvester. And another harvester. That other harvester can come over here. There we go. Stopping the clock at five hours and one minute. Well and good there. Definitely under six, just barely over five. Just gonna wrap it up for points. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, way under budget. I do like this map. So, cranking out the points. Shouldn't take too long here. I'm going to drag my Buddha buddy back down here. There, that's a way to look at it, I guess, Gleep. All right. Yeah, you get all the fun and none of the carpal tunnel, huh? Ooh, nice. All right, let's start merging stuff up here.
All right, there's a couple more swans. And we've got swans up there. Bring those down. And that is five bears. Which makes the points. All right. That's all the rewards. That's everything done. I gotta go around and gather up my coins and my wishes. Do, 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 do. I'm not even really that concerned about coins. Wonder what was in that nest, though. Curiosity. Oh, a lot of bupkis. There wouldn't have been a match to be had. Well, maybe with those. Hey, it's a crimson. Cool. All right, so there it is. There you have it. Let's sell off that. Now, if I really wanted to, I could go through here and set up a coin farm, fruit tree farm, but I really don't want to. If you're newer to the game, that's a great thing to do, though, since your dragons will have unlimited stamina in the event map, and you can just set up a tree farm and let them farm the fruits. All right, let's grab that chest. There's a wish. I'm not gonna go through and do that. All right. So thanks for hanging out, everybody. I wish you the best of the luck with the rest of the event. Gonna get rid of my flowers. And I will see you guys in the next video or stream or whatnot. That's awesome that you had some help getting the stuff for, for Enna's gear. That's awesome. All right, so you still need more of the immutables. Okay. Well, I can see what I can do about helping out with those. We might need to run some dungeons. I will be on Final Fantasy in a short while. All right. Love y'all loads. Stay awesome. Good luck with the rest of the event. Happy weekend. I will see you next time. There may be a Final Fantasy stream sometime over the weekend. Maybe a couple of them. We'll see. All right. Bye for now, guys.